Hi, today we're going to be talking about God's love. You know, we consistently hear how much God loves us, the love that God has for us. Um, I'm sure most of us have heard of John 3.16, For God so loves the world that he gave his only begotten Son. And in Romans, it tells us that while we were yet sinners, God sent his Son to die for us, all because he loves us. But the challenge is that unless we learn to recognize and experience God's love for ourselves, it's all just words. We have no reference point. We don't know what that looks like or what that feels like. And so we're going to be talking today just about some simple ways that we can acknowledge and recognize God's love for us. And I am by no means an expert on God's love. The Bible tells us that um, we will never fully understand the ways of God. Uh, but I do remember at the age of 16 walking into a church and hearing for the first time that God loves me and coming from an environment where I had never experienced love before. So actually internalizing that love for me, um, God's love for me and uh, understanding it and, and knowing that it was real and that it was tangible and that it was something that I could experience and, um, and literally walk in uh, was foreign to me. Here I am, this girl who would come from abuse and neglect and who I was and the things that I had done did not deserve to be loved. So um, I was not able to internalize that love and I spent the next 16 years running from God and God being who he is chased me and continued to show me his love for me. Um, uh, my favorite scripture, Jeremiah 31, 3 is, For I have loved you with an everlasting love, and I have drawn you with loving kindness. And so we're just going to look at a few ways that um, God does that, that he draws us in with his loving kindness. And the first one is that he protects us from things that we think we want. In Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, it tells us that, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways aren't your ways. My... Um, just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my thoughts higher than yours. And so the reality is, is that God sees the bigger picture and that we don't. And I remember um, about two years ago, I was dating this man. Um, seemed like a great guy. We met in church. We had a lot of fun together. Um, we, he seemed wonderful. Um, and shortly after, about eight months after we started dating, he just abruptly left, um, decided that he didn't want to date me anymore and that I wasn't for him. And so I internalized that and I thought that there was something wrong with me. Um, years later, God showed me that that relationship was not going to um, uh, work with where God wanted, me, wanted to take me. And so this was a man who was okay with mediocrity, who did not want to go into full-time ministry, who had no desire to serve God on the level that my heart wanted to. And so God literally removed me from that relationship. And while it broke my heart, and at the time, I'm like, I don't understand. I thought that you loved me. Why would you, why would you take this from me? All the while, God was um, loving me enough to remove a situation from my life that wasn't his best. He wanted to give me his best, and that was not it. As parents, as a mom, um, if I know that my child is in a situation that is going to be detrimental to her future, then I'm going to do what I need to do to remove that remove her from that situation. It's not. I'm not going to encourage her out of it. I'm not going to try to convince her that it's not the right decision. But if it's detrimental to her future, I'm going to step in as a parent, and I'm going to make the decision that's best for her. And yes, it may hurt her. But I'm still going to make that decision because of my love for her and know that that I see the bigger picture and that at some point in time she'll see why I made the decision that I made. And I just truly believe that God has that same um, frame of reference in regards to us. He knows what's best for us. He sees the bigger picture. He knows the plans that he has for us and they are good. And so when there are things in our lives that go against that or things in our lives that can um, deter us from God's best, he's quick to snatch us up. He's gonna snatch us up and he's gonna say, no, this isn't what's best for you. And although it hurts, it's his way of loving us. Um, and the beautiful thing about it is that we have the Holy Spirit 
who is a comforter to come and comfort us through those times. And I can recall very clearly moments of times where the Holy Spirit came to comfort my heart and to carry me through that. And he brought me out of that and into a place where now I am able to live out dreams that had I stayed in that relationship, I wouldn't have been able to. And so that's just one way that God shows us that he loves us. He protects us from the things that we think that we want. He sees the bigger picture. He wants what's best for us. And he is willing um, and ready to rescue us from situations that aren't the best for us simply because he loves us.